Today we're reviewing new Ding Dong's Ice Cream. Yes, Ding Dong's Ice Cream. As you saw by the close-up, today we're eating some Ding Dong's. Ice Cream Ding Dong's. We gotta be careful because you know, we don't want YouTube to get the wrong idea and rate us as like mature videos because we're eating <laughs> Ding Dong's. Let's just say it this way for the kitties. Today, we're eating ice cream. I'm Greg, he's Q, together we're Mr. Happy 0121, family friendly. Before we go too far with this, this box was $3.50. There's five of them, and they're tiny. <coughs> tiny. We haven't unwrapped them yet, but I'm, it feels like it's like the size of a half dollar. I hold out great hope for these. I am a big fan of Ding Dongs. How about yourself? You enjoy a nice Ding Dong from time to time? It's all right. Bite one. Bite two. Third and final. Bite three. There's actual like ding dong here and here with ice cream in the middle and then like a chocolatey frozen thing on top. I'm gonna give this a 78. It didn't translate as well as I thought it would. It actually tastes like a ding dong. It just is not as good as I wanted it to be. I don't know if it's a failing on the part of the product or a failing on the part of me, but it, it translated well. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. The Chocolate cake-like material that's in between the ice cream and the coating tasted stale, and so it just didn't work out. Part of the reason Ding Dongs taste so great is because they taste fresh. This does not taste fresh. It tastes old, but I think it's just the product. 78. Coupled with the fact it almost costs $4 by the time you put tax in it for five little sandwiches, I would go ahead and give this a pass. Considering the price and what you get, I'm going to go like a 76. The chocolate just kind of tastes weird. In the middle, doesn't really have a taste. It's just not that good. So what have you been doing with your time lately while you've been Dude, ill and down and down on your luck? Watching Impractical Joker clips on YouTube. Today, I've I've listened to like three podcasts with Q and Sal. It's been a, It's been a full day. I don't regret any of it. You know my feelings on the Impractical Jokers, and I'm sure I'm in the minority, but... I'm sure you are. I dislike them greatly. What do you like about the Impractical Jokers? Why do you feel they're enjoyable and worth your time? They're funny. It's I just funny. That's all I got. I don't really have any like in-depth analysis of why I like them, but I just think they're funny. <laughs> you don't like them? You don't think so? I don't think they're funny. I don't think they're funny at all. In fact, I think they're in love with themselves. The part of the reason I can't watch them is they do like, I don't know, what do you call it? What do you call one of their little bits they do? A hidden get what do you mean? What a hidden you, camera bit? Yeah, a hidden yeah. camera bit. You got three of them in a room telling the other guy to do something. Something is this funny, and the three guys in the room would make you think that you're watching a comedy <laughs> masterpiece. They're just howling with laughter at how funny they are. No. They're no. not that funny. They're that funny. The dude hilarious. Best TV show I, I've watched in a while. I would Honestly. go so far as to say if that was on like a loop, I would put my head through a wall to make it stop. Oh, if that was on a loop, be, I could I could watch the Impractical Jokers all day, eight hours straight. Again, I'm not even joking. Apparently, I'm in the minority. Apparently people seem to love it because I hear nothing but great things. How could you not like it? Let's take it to the people. Let's take it. Let's take it to the people. Let's take it to a poll. Polls right here. Click a button. Is Q right? Are they comedy geniuses? Or am I right? Are they people that think they're comedy geniuses that aren't that funny? I didn't say they're comedy geniuses. Then how Just could like, you enjoy them for hours at a time? Because they're highly, highly... When you say comedy genius, genius, I think of like Richard Pryor, like Doug Stan, or like a real you know, George Carlin, like a comedy genius. You know? Okay, okay, let's do the yeah. poll then. Is yeah. Q right? <laughs> Are the Impractical Jokers okay? Or is Gray right? The Impractical <laughs> Jokers suck. There's your choices. We'll see who comes out we'll right. See. I will. Results in the next video. I'm worn out. I'm worn out. It's still a short video, but between the Ding Dongs and the Impractical Jokers, I'm done here for today. Got any plans this weekend? Watch the Impractical Jokers. My plans for this weekend are to try to get out of work and do as little as possible. We'll see how that works out for both of us. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Mr. Happy 0121. Stay vigilant.